This week, after rocket attacks from Gaza, Israel's response has been an aerial bombardment targeting militant infrastructure. Basically, we were left with no other choice but to take these steps. It's a familiar pattern rooted in an Israeli approach that experts call cutting the grass. The belief is that semi-regular military incursions are inevitable, not to end the conflict, but to simply manage it. Some background on this strategy and its implications on the New York Times Minute. Hamas, which dominates the Gaza Strip, has long demanded Israel's destruction. From the Israeli perspective, that means the conflict can never be definitively solved. As the metaphor goes, Israel must periodically cut the grass, knowing that the stalks, or militants' weaponry, will eventually come back. It's a reality that we could not accept, and therefore the government uh, ordered the military to take steps in order to prevent this aggression. The pattern has been repeating for years. In November 2012, rockets from Gaza were also followed by airstrikes from Israel. While militant infrastructure and many Gazans' homes were destroyed, the conflict continued. <laughs> We are going to stop Hamas, whether by charging them a heavy price or by uh, launching any kind of uh, offensive measures. And while this latest round of violence, including seeming tit-for-tat kidnappings and killings of teenagers, has now claimed more than 30 lives, very few expect that it will not repeat again in the years ahead.